Here's a quick video showing how to write a blog post with Claude. Claude is kind of a newer AI tool that excels in writing. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly why I'm using Claude instead of ChatGPT. One thing I'm going to tell you also, we're going to have a look at Originality AI to double check and see how well this is written, if it's AI detectable and that sort of thing. I arbitrarily am going to pick a topic here. I'm gonna actually kind of aim towards something that we might cover on this channel anyway. So write a detailed outline for a blog post about writing a review for a product on an affiliate site. So we're gonna end up with a pretty good outline overall. And one thing I'm gonna do, which a lot of people ask like, hey, I can't get Claude in my country. Apparently it's only available in the US and UK currently, but you could basically use the same prompts for ChatGPT. You could use it for Claude. You could use it for Bard. Fill in the blank. Like they all kind of use the same idea. So we end up with a pretty thorough outline. It talks about selecting a product, researching the product, writing the review, optimizing it, and so on. So one thing that you can do is actually ask for more detail. This is one way you can get an even better kind of review or article or outline. So add more details to writing the review and optimizing the review. So we end up with even more detail here. So you can see Claude is just gonna provide more detail to those sections. And what I'll do after this is just ask Claude to write the whole outline with all the details. Okay, so I'll ask for the whole outline with all the additions. It's gonna take a second to write all this out. Quick note, Originality AI is a paid tool. I think they probably have some kind of little trial that you could use. I am an affiliate, so I get a commission if you have to actually pay something, but I literally use this tool all the time. Not only does it check to see if it's AI content, which is important or not important to some people, I'm not here to tell you that you should check that, but you should probably check for plagiarism, right? When you use these AI tools, you don't know where the content's coming from exactly. So you wanna double check for plagiarism, which Originality AI does indeed check. So in this case, I'm just gonna you know, put in like Claude sample just so I can keep track of it here. And then we'll hop over here and we have the full outline now. So I'm gonna say, write a blog post with the outline and aim for, we'll say 1500 words. Usually I've found that a lot of these tools are a little bit short. They don't write 1500 words. They write more like 1200. So you could double check. I think they just count using a different kind of token or word length or something like that. So we're gonna end up with a pretty thorough blog post here. It is gonna take a minute. So why don't I hop ahead and I'll go ahead and show you really quick. Anthropic is the developer of Claude here and they announced it, I think on, it looks like July 11th, 2023. So it's just been out for a few weeks at the time that I'm recording this, but basically it does a pretty damn good job as far as an AI chat tool where it excels is writing. So like I said, this is why I'm using it for writing. In fact, Claude 2 averages above the 90th percentile for reading and writing exams. So it excels there. And I was reading information from Anthropic. So of course they're gonna, they're a little biased to their own tools. So this is over here on time where they looked at the data from Claude 2 versus GPT-4 and basically GPT, chat GPT and GPT-4, it's very good with verbal and quantitative, but it's not as good as uh, Claude for the writing. So Claude is actually much higher for the writing. It's like in the 91st percentile for the writing test. So that is why we're using Claude for writing. Now you can use chat GPT if you want to for maybe like, the reasoning or maybe creating the outline, or maybe you write the outline 
in Claude, and then you take it to ChatGPT and ask about other things that you should include, and then you could go and have Claude actually write based on the revised outline. Or you could just do it all in Claude. So you see here, we have the full content here. The other big thing is Claude is free, all right? Claude is free currently. They're probably gonna start charging before too long or have some kind of paid tier. So keep that in mind. Let's hop over. So we have this content and it does look much shorter than it should be. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say, it looks too short, make it longer. So in the meantime, we'll go ahead and paste what we have here. And as you can see, it says 887 words on Originality AI. We'll go ahead and scan this in real time. And quick note, Originality is updating all the time. So they actually have model 2.0 currently in August 2023 when I'm recording this. And just the other day, they released 2.0. Before that, it was 1.4, version 1.4. And when I was testing with 1.4, Claude almost always passed in 90% higher original not AI written. I think probably here we're going to see a little bit of an AI um, spin to it, but usually a pretty acceptable range and much, much lower, much, much, much lower than ChatGPT. All right, so 73% original, 27% AI. So that's acceptable to me. You could go through here and change the ones that it were highly likely as AI, but that's totally up to you. Most important thing is the plagiarism score, which is zero here. That's great. And then we get a readability score to see how easy it is, to see if it's very understandable. So let's pop back over here and just take a look. And oftentimes, Claude or any AI tool will uh, readily admit that they didn't write a long enough post and they'll make it longer. So just out of curiosity, we'll take a look to see how long it was and just double check. So I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to remove all of the text and I'll just repaste it in and let's go ahead and scan it again. And I think we'll find that it's probably a similar test, but it's a little bit longer this time. I it didn't update the word count here, but hopefully it will by the time it finishes. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Would love to hear if you have any requests for videos or if you have any confusion about how to use the tool or any other questions at all. Additionally, I have a bunch of videos on prompt engineering and just using ChatGPT, Claude, or any other similar tool. So feel free to leave a comment or you know, if you have any other questions. So again, we see 73% and 27% AI and pretty much the same readability score. So that's how you use Claude. I think it's a great tool for writing and you end up with much higher quality than you did when you use uh, ChatGPT. So do check it out.